what's up lazy dog fam hope all you guys out there are having an incredible day today we're gonna be planting some more corn but a special kind of corn we've never grown before we're gonna be planting some glass gem corn now we've still got this corn right here which is in the process of drying this is our r977 popcorn and it's finally starting to turn yellow it's supposed to be a yellow popcorn so the kernels are finally starting to turn yellow finally starting to harden a little bit these plants are finally starting to die back a little bit which is what we want to see so we want to wait to those husks on those ears there turn almost completely brown or completely brown so everything's nice and dry before we harvest these guys so still a little ways to go we've got this spot right here that i don't really have any plans for we need to clean it up a little bit i think this is going to be a perfect spot to plant a few rows of this glass gem corn so usually every year i plant another round of sweet corn in the fall i've done it at least the last four or five years since i can remember but i'm not doing that this year because we had such a good spring harvest of sweet corn we've got a freezer full of sweet corn so i'm not growing any more sweet corn this fall but i did want to give this glass gem corn a try i'll show you the seeds in a minute when we go to plant this but supposedly this is a popcorn but can also be ground up and used for corn meal or grits now since this is a field corn it's going to take a little bit longer than say a sweet corn which you can usually get to maturity in 80 days or so when growing it in the fall a field corn is usually going to take closer to 100 days maybe even longer than that for it to really dry so all those years when i was planting fall sweet corn i would usually wait middle august towards the end of august to plant and i was always just fine had plenty of time for that crop to mature before we get our first frost date which averages at the end of november here in zone 8b since i'm growing the field corn longer maturity date i need to go ahead and get it planted now at the first of august that way it's got time to do its thing and dry on the stalk before we get that first frost in november sometimes it doesn't come till middle december you never know but we don't want to take too big of a chance and if we're going to take the time to plant this we want to give it plenty of time to grow so you can see that grass right there that we've got to get out of here now i always plant my corn on berry drip tape and this popcorn was planted on berry drip tape although i haven't had to run it in quite a while because it's been so wet but i think since i'm just working with this little spot right here and i'm just doing a few rows and i'm not watering that corn over there anymore probably put a cover crop there when that's done i'm gonna try to get away with not putting tape on it so i'm just not doing tape for three or four rows here on the end of this plot we'll have to see how that works hopefully i don't regret it but i'm gonna skip the tape portion for this little grow out now i've got two packets of seed for this glass gem corn i got it from baker creek and i think that should be enough at least for three rows maybe four rows i don't know if i've got enough space here for four rows putting the corn at three feet apart but we'll just have to see but i think i got enough seed at least for three rows once we get cleaned up we can see how many rows we can squeeze in this little space so let me go grab my help let's get this cleaned up let's get some corn planted it's just you matching i don't know who is copying who but i had mine on first whatever i had was. mine on first <laughs> I, I had mine picked out and then you put it i was like what are you doing we got that cleaned up pretty quick brooklyn's getting really good with this wheel oh here. thank you thank she you. is better at it than those guys my buddy brought over here <laughs> to uh 
to help. I like oh. hand them a wheel hoe and they act terrified of it. <laughs> Travis said, I asked something. I said, well, did they use the wheel hoe? He's like, they looked real sad when I brought it out. <laughs> Yeah. Like they were just, I don't know do. what, what the deal we've had several people ask on our Facebook and Instagram can a woman use it and I would say once you get the hang of it now that thick grass right there is going to be hard for That's anybody hard. I should have just picked but that just kind of the regular cultivation part of it it's pretty easy right when you get the hang of it yes and it wasn't it was funny the picture I had of me doing it with Titus I wasn't doing like 30 minutes worth I did about 15 minutes worth it was time to take a lot of breaks Titus on my back he goes woo I'm tired I said, you tired? Woo. So it is, um, it works the muscles. I was like, ooh, haven't, haven't lifted a dumbbell that got that. But yeah, I mean, it's a workout. It's not, I'm not like whistling like 30, howdy 30 do. 30 minutes of time, you're good? Yeah. I mean, you might want to stop after about 15. <laughs> Just break for a second. I act like I'm aggravated that the dog and the kids were in my way. But secretly I was like, ooh, glad I could stop for a second. So. I've always kind of had the impression that... Yeah. If, if it was like wearing you out a ton that you were probably doing it wrong or you're fighting it or wrestling it maybe that could be it I think that it is a little bit I told Travis I would prefer if it had a handlebar like a stroller does like a baby stroller it'd be easier for me to push like this rather than holding it like this like you're at Disney World pushing the oh stroller. yeah yeah when I see the people with strollers where you had the handles like on my handlebar I always feel bad for them I have more strength here and it would be easier for me to push there rather than my arms turn like this. But I think that's different for everyone. I saw a few people say, oh, it's a little tall for me. That is a little tall for me. That's why you see me sort of pushing it so far out. We probably should adjust them down for you a little bit. Yeah, but I didn't want to have to. I mean, it's not so horrible that I'm like, well, let's take the time to readjust it. Okay, ty has okay. got to tell us. watermelon plant growing. No, those aren't watermelons, buddy. That's a cover crop. Y'all, Titus got a new haircut. Titus, come show. You're going to be shocked by how much we cut off. Oh, <laughs> Ta -ta. Ta -ta got your hair Titus, off. do you feel like your hair is so short? Uh, he don't want to talk about oh, it. Oh, he's got... Why do you have shavings in your hair? Oh, you and brother are getting a shaving site? They decided it'd be real fun to take the chicken shavings and throw them in each other's hair. Why not? So we had a lot of this out there. This... <clears throat> Purslin, I call it devil weed, and somebody out there is gonna comment and say I should be eating this stuff. And uh, I thought it was a beautiful succulent that came from my. The plant. other day, Brooklyn was wheel hoeing, and she goes, "This stuff won't die; it just keeps coming back." I'm wheel hoeing this every other day; it keeps coming back. And this stuff, it, unlike most weeds, where you hit it with a wheel hoe, cut it at the roots, flip it over a little bit, the sun will kill it. It won't this stuff; it'll just keep coming back. So that's why we have to rake it out of there, or else just keeps causing more problems and more problems is it a succulent it feels like yeah, a yeah, succulent. yeah yeah okay. yeah so that that's makes why sense it won't die because succulents yeah, yeah. you can not water you can pull out the ground you can let you propagate. starve them to death now, yeah people will say to eat these things but i'm I, not that hungry no i'm not that hungry but uh <laughs> that's why we had to rake it out and get it nice and clean all right now we're going to approximate some three foot row space and see how many rows we can squeeze in here make us a furrow put a little fertilizer down and we'll be ready to plant so what I did, I started right here, which I figured was close enough to this other popcorn. Made a little mark, then I just went three lengths of my foot. And ended up, we're gonna be able to get four rows in here. One, two, three, four. Leave that extra room right over there. So Brooklyn's gonna get the double wheel hoe here, and we're gonna make some furrows. So we can put down a little pre-plant fertilizer before we plant our corn. Now, this is gonna be very important to go straight here because these rows are a little closer than when we did those peas last time, okay? Why is that so important? Because we don't want our rows running together. So we gotta look down there. I am. There you go. That's how, what are you doing? Just getting tools out everywhere? Are you making a hole? Yeah. This corn right here is about to drive Titus absolutely crazy. He thinks it's a sweet corn and he needs to be picking it and eating it. And it, it just, it, he just can't take it. He's already picked a few years and he's just so upset and don't understand why he can't so pick it. 
<laughs> Lux got upset. I've get, I'm gonna get upset. Oh, you was getting upset by him picking your corn. I'm gonna get upset if he picks any more. We oh. had a little talk. I think he's gonna be all right. Watch out, Ty Ty. Here comes Mama. All right. Four rows. Pretty dang evenly spaced there. That time, Mama gonna have to help. That's gonna take a long time. Okay, you do it. You start doing that second row, okay? Okay. Okay, you, why don't you pick up some of your hands? No. There you go. So Brooklyn and Titus are putting approximately a scoop of this Nature Safe 855. The stuff here that looks like animal feed. We use that in the furrow every time we plant something not being super exact with this because we don't have to be you really don't have to worry about burning something with this stuff well, this same stuff we used on that corn right there it turned out really well and we got where we're using it on everything we plant we just put it in the furrow cover it up and plant ty ty you're doing a great job buddy so normally you wouldn't let your children touch fertilizer with their bare hands but i like that we're using something that it's okay for him to touch like it's not poisonous it's not going to hurt him if he eats it it's right. not going to hurt him right yeah so that makes me feel a lot better because otherwise i'd have to be nervous you doing it like daddy does it no no <laughs> it's so much easier well that corn should be well fed so now Brooklyn's just gonna zip those up, cover that fertilizer, make a row, as the old timers like to say, but we're gonna put our corn. You're getting pretty tired after this. Uh, Tata, what you got? Uh, a I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I So I put both packets in these little seed bags I use in the fridge just to store it. And it ain't got much here. So this glass gem corn, if you're not familiar with it, I'll put a link to an article below if you're watching this on YouTube. Is it purple? It's all different colors, Bubby. So there's a guy in Oklahoma, I think his name was Carl Barnes or something. He developed this variety and uh, it's since been kind of shared across the country, but it's kind of translucent. That's why they call it glass Daddy, gem. Blue. There's blue and purple and red and yellow. There's all different colors. So this is actually a popcorn. So it will pop just like the rest of it. Be careful. So we got to be really careful with our seeds because we only got a few. But we've got all different colors here. And when this makes an ear, it's going to be an ear of corn that's all different colors. It's going to look really, really cool. Oh, here's the fig master. Come on, buddy. Yep, they're all going to be rainbow ears. They're all going to look a little different. So some ears may have more yellow. Some ears may have more green. Some may have more purple. Isn't that pretty cool? I think Mama's going to help y'all plant so we make sure we got enough seeds uh, oh, for all I four rows. I got rows, a big, okay? big, big one. You got a big one? Yeah. Whoa, that was a big bite. Is that a good one? Mm-hmm. Mm. Why is it green? Some of the varieties are green. What does it taste like? Um, strawberries. Tastes like strawberries? <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, Bubby, I'm going to give this to Mama, and she's going to help y'all plant, okay? Yeah. Okay, Fred, lazy dolphin. When I get 13 years old, I'm going to start me a channel. Oh, oh, and it's going to call, oh, we plant it, we pick it. All right, that sounds like a good plan. When you're 13? Yeah. Okay. 
I have questions. Are you going to be able to answer them? Sure. Okay. So, you just wanted more popcorn? Is that why we're planting this? No, I kind of want like a seed stock of this. is a really cool rare variety. Okay. And so, I bought a few packets so we can kind of have a okay. little bag in the refrigerator, freezer. It would be fun to plant for the kids and we can plant more anytime we want it. So, this will, once it grows out, you can keep these seeds, what, indefinitely or for a year? Uh, many years. Okay. What is the, how long will these take to get a big big uh you're looking at about how long this other popcorn took so probably 100 days or so so that's how Three you months. knew how you had enough time to plant it right now right yeah okay because so, you got to harvest this before a freeze yep that's right okay got it yep 100 right. days so how am i planting this by hand yep okay so we need to put a seed about one seed every six inches or so oh lord but just one seed okay All right, so we didn't have quite enough seeds for all four rows, just three yeah, rows. Just three. And Brooklyn was asking me, she was like, why did you buy so little <laughs> seeds? Are these expensive or something? And it's not that they're expensive, they're just kind of rare. And most places only let you buy two packets at a time. I saw mm. that in several different places. I can't remember if that was the case when I ordered from Baker yeah. Creek or not, but they, it's, it's very rare corn out there. That's why we're gonna kind of like have our own stash of it, hopefully. Okay. I was wondering why you were acting like they were diamonds. No, I wouldn't call them diamonds. But, <laughs> Almost. Uh, yeah, they're kind of hard to come Almost. by. Almost. Well, once we have our own stash, like I said, those seeds will store for several years. And we sure. can just grow it every few years. And since it's popcorn, we'll see if it's any good to eat popcorn. If it yeah. is, I think selling some popcorn, colored for popcorn like that in little bags could Ooh, be really, really cool. Yeah, it'd be fun. So we might end up, if we like it, might end up growing a big plot of it. Yeah, once we get cool. our own kind of seed stock. Okay. built up so when we first started this channel i did a video talking about my sweet corn and kind of talking about some of these nature safe fertilizers we were using and my big question was can you grow corn with just organic fertilizers and i was doubtful that you could do that but hmm. with our popcorn over there it's actually turned out pretty well so as long as you put a good fertilizer in the fur pre-plant side dress it again when you heal it you know when it's a foot or so tall maybe shoot some fish emulsion to it there it can certainly be done okay. you just got to be timely with it and i had never thought about what you said earlier you know if you're out here with some 10 10 10 or some kind of synthetic fertilizer that you're side dressing with you really don't want your kids grabbing right. and handling all right. that but with this stuff it's kind of family friendly um for the garden i don't know if they use nature safe uses that as a selling point or not i never even <laughs> well, thought we about would. We <laughs> that's would. right i never even thought about it to today but it's a great thing uh that you don't have to worry about your kids uh ingesting it or anything like that or just touching it yeah it's basically just byproducts of animal feed yeah stuff. it tastes it smells just like horse feed yeah pretty much is not gonna hurt anybody if they eat it right i'm not gonna try to yeah eat i was like are you sure about that anyway so we got this waiting on that to dry and um i gotta figure out i gotta get me a uh i think it's gonna be too much to try to shell all that just by you think i think it'd be pretty fun to shell like that it'd be pretty fun but i, I think i'm gonna try to find me a little oh, crank Lord. sheller i was looking on ebay for, they got you just some, want something to buy well they, they <laughs> i found some on ebay for like 40 bucks little crank ones so we'll see i don't know if they work with the popcorn's real skinny okay i know it worked with field corn uh, if any of you got out there have any sheller recommendations <laughs> or shelling recommendations for popcorn. Or you just want to come shell it. I'm not, yeah, or if you just want, we'll trade you. <laughs> Shell and labor for some popcorn. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed tonight's video. And if you did, make sure to subscribe, ring the bell, like, and share. I mean, you should like it just because we're twins in this video. You're right. Yeah, everybody <laughs> should like it just because we got matching shirts on. Where was I at? Oh, yeah. Subscribe, share. ring the bell, like, and share. <laughs> and we'll see you next time right here at Lazy Dog Farm. Bye.